Hey guys, so I know I told you last week that I wanted to get my hands on the Starlux Star Box, and I did. This is my unboxing for it. Unfortunately, it's not my first unboxing because I filmed that about six hours ago and I was just getting ready to edit it. Now, now is in like 20 minutes ago and I realized the whole thing was out of focus. YouTuber problems. Anyways, it's midnight. This is like my pretend unboxing. I wanted to share this with you guys though and get this up because if you subscribe to the December box by the 10th of the month, the December box has a palette. I believe it's a 15 shade palette. It's a $99 value and this service itself is $15 a month and I'm really, really happy with what's inside. So I'm saying that now and hopefully if you're watching this video, you're watching it on the first day and if this is something that you're interested in, you can get in before you get that cool little prize. So let's just go right in and get started. I will share with you the things that I got in my box. You may have already seen um, a Starbucks unboxing this month. For this month, they have the same products in every box. Um, it's really cool though because they spend a lot of time researching the trends. Everyone gets the same box, but you're getting items that are on trend for the season, for that moment. You know what I'm saying. So it's really, really nice. Anyways, so the first thing I got was this liner brush. It's like an angled liner brush. It's very, very nice. Really similar to my Sigma liner brush and it's super skinny. That tip is skinnier than the Sigma one. And you guys know, if you've been watching me, that that is why I bought that brush. It was like the skinniest one that I could find for creating like a cat eye liner. So I'm really happy with this. It's always good to have more than one. So this is the slanted liner brush number 824. And I think the reason I got that brush was because they sent me this Orion gel liner. Their packaging is really cute, just like a little glass pot. And this color is gorgeous. It's almost like a metallic teal. I still have it swatched on the back of my hand and it was literally like hours and hours ago and I've washed my hands and this is still here. It's been in my waterline since three in the afternoon. So it's been almost seven hours and it's still there. So this stuff is amazing. I haven't worn it as like an eyeliner on the top of my lid yet, but um, I'm willing to give it a try. You guys may already know that I have a lot of issues wearing gel eyeliner because I have hooded eyes and it tends to crease up and get all wonky. It doesn't really work for me. So I wanna try this though because I'm dying to try like a creamy gel product that's very long lasting. I mean, look at this. It's like, you can't get it off. You can't. Still there. Next, I got this eyeshadow palette and I really like it. I like the packaging. Um, it's really sleek and you have the little windows. Inside, you can actually pop out these pans, so you can take them out and throw them in a Z palette, which is actually what I probably will be doing because I feel like these colors, with the selection of colors in this particular palette, you it's hard to make like a complete look with all of them. You know what I mean? It's, it's a little bit tough. It's not something that you're probably gonna wanna wear every day. And you guys might also be thinking that this orange color is really scary and really, really crazy, but I actually use colors like this. There are a few MAC shades that I have that are very similar um, to warm up above my brow bone, above my crease. And you shear them out so it's not, it's not this crazy. It doesn't look like a big orange patch on your eye. It's actually very, very flattering. Um, I'm actually wearing it now, but I didn't check my makeup before I started filming, so I don't know if you'll be able to tell. Um, but I'm wearing it now. It was really, really nice. Actually, I'm wearing this shadow too. This one is more of like a satin finish, and it's like a taupey, almost antique silver color. Really beautiful. Really beautiful. I love this color. This one is a matte shade, it's like a matte white. Um, it swatches, pretty opaque, but when you put it on your lid, I use it as a brow bone highlight, it shears out a lot, which is good for highlighting your brow bone, not so good if you really wanted like a bright white 
um, you know, lid color. You'd have to use like a white primer or something first if that was the look that you were going for. So this one was gorgeous. It's a matte color. Again, it's almost like a, almost like a, I feel like it's like a mermaid color. I don't know, like a mermaid blue, like a turquoise -y navy. Um, really, really pretty. It's almost looking a little bit darker with a finger swatch. It blends out a little bit nicer. There it is right there. Actually kind of close to that gel liner. Really pretty. I was really excited about that one. And this orange is really highly pigmented. This is probably the most highly pigmented color out of the whole batch. And then let me find a clean finger. This one is so beautiful. It's like a yellow gold color. And actually what the formula of this reminds me of, it's different than all of the rest. It reminds me a little bit of, if you own the Naked 3, it reminds me, reminds me, <laughs> Irish and me coming out a little bit there. It reminds me of <laughs> the dust color, the one that a lot of people complain about. They say it's really crumbly. I actually happen to like it. And um, I use this wet when I was playing with it earlier and it came out really, really gorgeous and really opaque. So this is really, really pretty. So this palette as a whole, I love. I think all the colors are really pretty and I will definitely use them. And like I said before, I really love that those pans are removable. And as a little bonus item, you get this pencil sharpener. And I think this is really cool because I lose these all the time. I just bought a new one. Oh, oh. Oh, I almost threw it and it would have been lost forever. I just bought a new one, an Anastasia one, and I got it because it has like the three different sizes, you know, for like your NYX jumbo pencils and whatnot. It's already gone. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Tweezers, these little things and eyebrow scissors, they're like, I lose them. So that is it for my box this month. As I said, you guys may or may not have already seen those items in somebody else's unboxing. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a little first impression of my own. And a few details about this box in particular. It's $15 a month and all of the products inside are the Starlux brand. What's cool about this brand is that it's professional quality makeup. It's made for the makeup artist in mind and it's more affordable. And I'm really, really happy with everything that I've tried so far. I really, really like the quality. Um, I remember my first thing was from an Ipsy bag. They're an Ipsy quite often, and it was a pencil, a liner pencil, and I was blown away with it. It was so pretty. I play with it a lot. I've been playing with it a lot for, like, holiday tutorials and stuff like that. So you probably will be seeing that soon. You get three to four full-size items. My particular box this month had three full-size items, but I had that little bonus. And this month, the value all together looks like it was about 60, 70 some dollars. So that's really nice. And I got all this stuff and I really, really like it. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. I'm really impressed and I'm really excited to see what the December box is all about. I'm excited to see that palette, not gonna lie. I wanted to mention really quick because I got this in the box. It is a little coupon and it says 40% off any Starlux purchase um, on their website and the code is I love Starlux but they have this on their main page. I was looking after I filled the, long, the last time and um, it's on their main page so it's not like just exclusive to people who have their box. Um, so it's really nice and they have some really cool gift sets. So if you're looking for gift ideas and you missed out on all the Black Friday sales, um, I would check this out. They have a lip set that I was looking at. I forget the name of it, um, but they have a lip pencil, a lipstick, and a lip gloss and they all like coordinate. They're really, really pretty. So if you're interested in gifts for a beauty lover, definitely recommend that. That's kind of why I'm trying to film some of these before Christmas because if you're anything like me and you don't have your shopping done or started, guilty. It's good to see these videos with different ideas. All right, so I am giving Starlux a thumbs up. Let me know your guys' experience with them if you have been subscribers. This is my first one and I'm really, really impressed. So I would love to hear from you guys. If you are interested in subscribing, I'll link their website right down below. And if I missed anything, I'll put it down there as well. But I think I covered everything. It's kind of weird when you're filming the same thing for a second time. I feel like I'm repeating myself because I am, because I filmed it already, but is it in this video or the last video? Ugh. Do you ever just have those days where you just like fail? <laughs> 
Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like unboxings and if you want me to try different companies and subscription services. I know a lot of you guys have been asking questions about different ones. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!